Hello, and welcome to another review of the translation program Omega Team. My name is Raman Mironov, and today we will look at the version 308, update 3. The first of the two additions that I want to cover today is insert next missing tag pair. And let's start by deleting this tag first from the segment. One of the ways to insert this missing tag is by using the autocompleter. <clears throat> we do so by pressing Control plus space. And here we have the view called missing tags. And I can also cycle to it from any other review by pressing Control plus space repeatedly. Like this. And I'm back to missing tags. Here in this list, the autocompleter gives me the tag that is missing. And I can insert it into the translation by pressing Enter. Just like this. I will delete it again now. As you see, since there is just one tag missing, we only have one suggestion here. But let's go to a segment with many more tags. Okay, here we have a lot of tags. And for example, let's delete one tag. We get the same picture. One tag is provided in this missing tags view. But if we delete all tags, the next time we access this view, we get a full window of tags. And now, with this new version, instead of just having separate tags like T0, T1, T1, T2, we get also tag pairs. Which means that instead of inserting tags one by one, we can insert tag pairs. As long as we think this is more appropriate than inserting just one tag. Let's try this. Okay. Here goes this tag. And here, for example, I want to insert this tag pair T1, T2. I can do this by pressing Control plus space and then Enter. And the cursor is placed right between the two tags, so I can start typing my translation here. Let's continue. Okay, another tag pair, T3, T4. And finally, I can insert the last tag, T5. It's not a tag pair, so I can insert just this tag, like this. Now I will use the same function for a different segment. And instead of adding tags to around the existing translation, I will pretend that there is no translation at this point. Okay, so I will start by inserting this tag, T0. 
k to 0. Then I will use the machine translation output. This to pretend that I'm actually translating. And then I can use this function to insert this pair of tags, which comes naturally in my translation here. So I do this by pressing Control plus space, and then I insert this tag pair by pressing Enter. Again, the cursor is placed directly between the two tags, which allows me to start typing the translation immediately, like this. Alright. For instance, and now I need the the second tag pair, T3, T4. Right, so I insert it. And then I type my translation. My translation. And then finally, I insert <coughs> the last tag, T5. And the dot. Alright, so this is the new function. If you use the autocompleter to insert missing tags, this might be a valuable addition. Those who use the insert next missing tag command control plus T will likely to continue using this command even with tag pairs. I for one will continue to do so. This is how I do it normally and this is what I plan to stick to. Okay, let's delete the tags and let's insert them by pressing Control plus T. Inserting the next missing tag every time, each time we do so. And the last tag, T5. Anyway, doing the same with the autocompleter, and now with the ability to insert tag pairs is a good alternative to doing this with Control plus D. Now let's go to the second function that I wanted to cover: new project shortcut. Omega T now provides the control plus shift plus and shortcut to create a new project. This command is available under the project menu and as you see it has a shortcut assigned to it now. So instead of doing this through the menu you can simply press a shortcut to achieve the same result. And here you will put the name of your project, my project, click save, adjust the settings as required. For example, you want to translate from English to, let's say, Spanish. And you can also adjust the paths here, as long as you don't like the default ones. And then you press OK to create your project. Right, so unless you create projects using templates, as I do, for example, this shortcut will save you some time. This is it about the version 3.0.8 update 3. And now, in conclusion, I want to say a few words about downloading a mega team. You can always get the latest version of Omega T through its SourceForge repository. And here's the link. So, 
Net projects omega two. When the page opens, you need to click files. Here you have two options, Omega to the latest version and the standard version. Remember to use the latest version because this is where all the latest features are and if you use the standard version you will miss a lot of exciting functions. So you always want to download the latest version. At this next page you have a choice normally of various maybe two three latest versions and of course there is no point to download a version that is older than the latest one and in this case of course the latest one is the one that I reviewed in this video update 3. At this point you click this link and you are presented with a choice of files to download here you need to select the file that is the most appropriate to your operating system. In my case I can select between basically two files. I have this choice, so Omega T4 Windows without Java and Omega T4 Windows with Java and there is also a more generic version of Omega T, but if you download this generic ver version, which doesn't say Windows in its name, you'll still be fine because it will function under Windows just, just as well as this one and this one. And you can note the, the word beta in the name, but don't be afraid just because it says beta. It's still a very stable version and basically you should use it because as I already said there are the functionality of the standard version is just too limited to use it. Alright, so here you click the version that you want and in a few seconds you can start downloading a mega T to your computer. And one last point, what I like about this generic version is that it doesn't have an installer. So for those who do not who want a basically portable version of a mega T, not exactly portable, but the version that doesn't have an installer, this is the version that you should use not the, this one or this one. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to leave comments below this video or rate it and be sure to check other videos about Omega T available <coughs> on our channel. Thank you for your time and see you next time. Bye.